Hello, how's it going? Good. So Doing what well. what brings you to NSTA 2024? Well, I'm a part of CAS, which is Colorado Science uh, Association of Science Teachers. Ah. And we were gifted the opportunity to have our own room, have presentations, just based on Colorado. Wow. And I've been a member and the Western Slope Region 3 um, membership support for about six years now. Okay. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, why science? What really draws your interest in it? You know, it goes back to my elementary and, and secondary levels of learning. I had a fourth grade teacher who inspired me to study space and I got to study Mars in fourth grade and it lit all my other experiences just like rockets and I went to a rocket launch one, one that was a rover for or a orbiter for Mars and that was one of the best parts ever. Wow okay ever. are you still studying Mars? I do study Mars I am more looking forward to studying the moon as we make our way as humans back to the moon so that we can build for the Artemis mission to go to Mars in uh, hopefully in the next couple 10 or 20 years. Wow okay um, can you touch on that a little bit the moon um, are you looking more into that right now would you say is more on your schedule of study? Not right now right now my program of study is actually GIS. Okay. So it's geographic information systems and how we can apply that to classrooms because everything that we teach in the science classrooms or math or literacy or social studies or history has a place to it. Sure. And we can map those locations and we can find concerns like this, look, this place looks pretty good. Uh -huh. I would say Okay. So in GIS, we, we look at maps and we say, oh, what's happening here? And it's not happening over here and here and here. Sure. And so we look at that and we say, oh, well, maybe it doesn't get as much water as other places. Or maybe people are, are, are putting down, you know, trash is over there or something like that. Or it's used differently by animals. Okay. Uh, why do you think that's important for Earth moving forward? I think the future of Earth, um, the kids that we train in our classrooms, the teachers that we train, who train their students, they're going to take us to places that we will never know and to, to levels of learning that we don't even know exist yet. Like AI, schools are really jumping in with AI and it's amazing. It's amazing to know that I can design a, a, a map in AI, I can have students and teachers uh, write programming for their classrooms using AI. So. That definitely is a subject that is being spoken to amongst a lot of people uh, this year is AI. Um, can you maybe touch on uh, what you look forward to, you know, with students and being able to utilize it? I think for a lot of students, it's kind of gotten a bad rap so far, um, but I know tons of teachers, teachers are probably the most creative human beings ever. And we will do what we have with what we have. And to include AI in that is just phenomenal because there's students with individual needs, AI can support their learning. There's teachers that will have their weekends just shot because they're grading or they're making their plans. When we have AI versions of, of help that they can have to lessen their, their time and uh, their off time. And the two things over my experience of edu science education is we we work, I think we work the hardest out of all the, the 
contents because science is always evolving. And now there's AI and we're sending other missions to space. Um, and I think a, a event like this brings all these ideas from all around. I met a lady from England yesterday, all around the world. Um, there's 4,500 people here all talking about science and STEM and they're all looking for that what's next what's next how can we help students how do we promote programming for STEM and science what are you excited for what's next well I think taking on challenges in communities that are, are persistent um, taking on recycling programs where it's, where it's not happening, looking at the, um, the, the factors of climate change um, with weather patterns and fires and pollution, air pollution, water pollution. Um, there's so many factors that we need to really start considering and considering in mass and not cover our eyes and just keep going with what we're doing. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, what's one subject that you look forward to bringing back to your community, uh, researching yourself more into? I would say just anything that can lessen a teacher's time. So how do we, how do we give time back to the teachers? Is that through problem-based learning where the, where the students own that activity. Um, I also look forward to all things in space when we're launching these, these million and billion dollar entities up and learning from them. And NASA does a great job, so does NOAA, in, in retrieving data and putting it right in the hands of teachers. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, if you can remember one science project that really enthused you to be like, I love science, I want to make a career out of this. I think hiking the Grand Canyon in eighth grade. Okay. We spent a good number of months, probably eight months, getting recycling program going. So we would, I don't know if this people remember this, we actually get I uh, used to get uh, paper newspapers <laughs> here in Denver. There were two of them. I think we're down to one now, but we would recycle newspapers and put them in really big bins. Uh, we would recycle cans and bottles, and all the receipts from those cans would would um, would amount up to the the needed. I guess the needed total for what we needed to, to spend to go on our trip as eighth graders to the Grand Canyon. Wow, that's pretty wow. neat. Uh, from that trip, is there one uh, thing that you really remember that... Uh... I, re I remember sleeping on the, the floor of the Havasu Falls. Uh, it's a native tribe that lives there, the Havasupai. And I was just waking up and I looked up looked at the red rocks and the waterfalls and the blue-green water and I looked to the side and there was a scorpion on my pillow. Oh wow, yeah. And I freaked out a little bit. <laughs> but well, fantastic time down in the Grand Canyon. I can only imagine. Well thank you so much and I look forward with you in science in the future too. Thank you for giving back to the community. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.